actually, I think nodes are is the part of seismic that will continue to grow the most. It's the newest technology. But if you look historically, the profitability have been poor in that part because there have been too much competition and too much new technology, and uh, and and they and there have been lack of good project management. So so uh, uh, Max size Fairfield, except from one or two years, they have never uh, never earned money uh, or a little money at least. Uh, so I haven't uh, had enough. Uh, return on equity or return on capital. So I, I, I think you know, if you ask about growth, yes, uh, I think the growth will be in notes. If 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 you ask about profitability, yes, I think it will be more profitable. But I think the most profitable part of the business is actually the traditional one, where there is no new competition. People are pulling out, and uh, TDS and CDG. Or in TDS after they have merged with uh, with uh, PDS and CDG and to some extent also SLB, Slum, uh, former Slumberger, there are the, the big ones left in this uh, space, and I think uh, that that uh, is a foundation for good profitability going forward. The same goes for both boats. Uh, there was uh, sixty. Uh, more than 60 modern uh, uh, 3D streamer boats. Now it's down to 20 or maybe below 20. So uh, two thirds are gone. Uh, and 80% uh, of those boats are controlled by two players. I, I actually think that uh, going forward, it will be the, the boring and the old part of Seismic that uh, have been there for many years that actually will give the best return.